Namaskar. Dry weather is prevailing over Goa for the past 3 to 4 days. Our maximum temperature hai that has been uh, near around the normal values. And minimum temperature was, uh, it is uh, almost 1 to 2 degrees Celsius below normal it has been for the past uh, 3 to 4 days. Nice on today, if we look at significant weather system, dekhenge, to this is the satellite image, latest satellite image. Usme aap dekh sakte hain, there is a lot of clouding near the Tamil Nadu area because there is a well-marked low pressure area over that region between Sri Lanka and Tamil Nadu. Or uh, that system is actually going to move towards uh, Tamil Nadu coast up to around 12th morning. Or uske baad, uska west northwestward moment hone wala hai. That is expected to uh, move over Tamil Nadu and Kerala and finally again re-emerge over uh, Southeast Arabian Sea as another uh, circulation or a low pressure area. So uh, as this system is expected to move, it is uh, it is going to make the winds over Goa region, uh, particularly in the uh, middle troposphere, east early and southeast early winds or uske current moisture aa sakta hai Goa ke uh, atmosphere mein, and that may uh, lead to formation of clouds and light rainfall or thunder shower activity uh, on 13th, 14th and 15th of uh, November. So, usko dekhte hui, uh, IMD has forecasted that light rainfall or thunder showers is very likely at uh, uh, isolated places over North and South Goa districts on 13th and 15th. And on 14th of November, there could be a slightly higher distribution. Uh, there is possibility of scattered light to light uh, rain or thunder shower activity. And since this, uh, that like we explained, the system will be moving uh, towards west and northwest, or uske karan, and there is possibility of increase in moisture from around late hours of 12th itself. There could be an increase in moisture in the atmosphere. So the clear sky conditions that we are observing now may slightly change from around uh, uh, late hours of 12th onwards. Or 13th, 14th, or 15th ko rainfall ke uh, chances hai north and south Goa ke upar. Aur uske saath hi, jaise ye system move hoga, the low pressure area ka, ye to circulation ka moment hum bata rahe thi. So there is fisherman warning for the coasts of Tamil Nadu on uh, 11th and 12th. Like in 13th se, there is warning, uh, there is possibility of squally winds reaching up to speed of even 55 kilometers per hour over Kerala coast and Lakshadweep coast on uh, 13th, 14th and even up to 15th. So fishermen who are venturing to th this area should avoid going there because there is possibility of squally weather with even wind speeds of 55 kilometers per hour. Regarding uh, maximum and minimum temperatures, the maximum temperatures as we can see here on uh, yesterday, uh, the maximum temperature recorded at Panji was 33 degrees Celsius and uh, that was almost uh, a normal value. So, uh, the maximum temperature is going to be around 33 to 34 degrees Celsius uh, over the coastal side uh, for almost uh, the coming 3 to 4 days and uh, around 1 to 2 degrees Celsius uh, higher value will be there for maximum temperature in the interior regions of Goa. Uh, regarding minimum temperature, it is almost 1.5 degrees Celsius below normal and uh, uh, the minimum temperature is actually going to rise by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius in the coming uh, two days and once it reaches around normal value uh, there is uh, not expected to have any significant change for uh, the subsequent three days once again the weather conditions change after five days the normal uh, the minimum temperature is expected to fall back again by around 2 to 3 degrees Celsius and uh, like we always mention, uh, please be regularly updated with the warnings and uh, now cast that IMD issues issuing with present observations. There is possibility of uh, rainfall over Goa on 13th, 14th and 15th and please be regularly updated in these coming days.